students welcome to food nutrition and dietetics channel today we will start with vitamin a deficiency in this chapter we learn about vitamin a it is a fat soluble vitamin required for vision repair reproduction and growth this occur in two form as retinol in animals based food that is meat liver fish egg yolk milk cheese butter ghee etc and beta carotene in plants based food that is green leafy vegetables and all <coughs> carotene is converted into retinol in intestine which is absorbed stored in the liver so uh, retinol is not uh, absorbed form of vitamin a so it is converted into carotene in the intestine and then it is absorbed to liver and stored in liver prevalence the current prevalence of subclinical vitamin a deficiency among children below 6 year of age in india is 57% and clinical is 0.7% the causes causes of vitamin a deficiency now we will take so a few major causes of vitamin a deficiency are prolonged dietary diversification uh, deprivation in endemic areas such as southern and eastern asia where rice devoid of beta carotene is staple food second breast milk is uh, of a lactating mother uh, with vitamin a deficiency contain little vitamin a which provide a breastfed child with too little vitamin a third decrease bioavailability of pro vitamin a carotenoids and uh, fifth is interference with absorption storage or transport of vitamin a so all these are the causes of vitamin a deficiency consequences uh, the consequences of vitamin a deficiency can be described as below vad leads to ocular manifestation that include under the term xerophthalmia night blind uh, night blindness conjunctival xerosis biotitis spos corneal xerosis corneal ucular keratomalacia and are stages of ocular manifestation so these are the diseases which cause due to vitamin a deficiency vitamin uh, vad can impair growth weaken the immune system and thus increase susceptibility to infections higher risk of respiratory infections and diarrhea pregnant women having serum retinol level less than 20 u uh, ug per dl Uh, which is indicated to vad during the third trimester of pregnancy are at higher risk of preterm anemia vitamin a deficiency control vitamin a is an important micronutrient for maintaining normal vision normal growth maintain visual and reproductive functions diet surveys have shown that intake of vitamin a is significantly lower than the recommended daily uh, allowances in young children adults and girls and pregnant women so vitamin a is very important as we all know that it is required for our proper vision and uh, the vitamin a deficiency is mainly found in the uh, younger children adults and girls and pregnant women national prophylaxis provision against na uh, national blindness was initiated as centrally sponsored scheme was launched in 1970 in 50s and 16th many states reported the blindness due to vitamin a deficiency due to one of the major causes of blindness in the child below years So in 1970 there was scheme laws that national prophylaxis provision in which uh, it aims to uh, it, uh, the aim of this program was to decrease the prevalence of vitamin A deficiency the objectives of uh, the objectives of prevention of vitamin A deficiency are prevention of vitamin A deficiency a promotion consumption of vitamin A rich food second creating awareness about uh, the importance of preventing vitamin A deficiency third prophylactic vitamin a as per uh, a as per the following doses schedule that is 9 per measles it is not important we will skip this treatment of vitamin a deficiency deficiency children all children with xerophthalmia are to be treated with health facilities second all children having measles to be given one dose of vitamin a if they have not received it in the previous months third all cases of severe malnutrition to be given one additional dose of vitamin a so community based strategies include first nutrition education the education of the people to promote dietary intake of vitamin a b carotene rich food uh, is the foremost requirement for allevi uh, alleviating the program problem of vitamin a deficiency in all age groups so we should educate people about the importance of vitamin a and beta carotene in the diet second horticulture intervention including home gardening ensuring an adequate supply of carotene rich food for population is one of the most important prerequisite for promoting a dietary intake of vitamin a so they should be uh, people should be promoted to grow home uh, the fruits or vegetables in their home so it will help them to 
prevent vitamin A deficiency. Prevention of infection, vitamin A deficiency is often precipitated by infection causing measles, diarrhea and acute respiratory infections. So, uh, next is selective fortification. The first food fortified with vitamin A in India was Vanaspati. All hydrogenated five by legislation are expected to be fortified with vitamin A and D. Selective fortification of food with vitamin A recommended. So fortification, the first food fortified in India was Vanaspati and fortification means nothing but adding extra nutrients in the diet uh, so that it can help us to overcome the issues faced by the people. Food Safety and Standard Authority of India that is FSSAI have notified the food fortification regulation to rating uh, while food business operators need to comply with the provision of regulating by January 1, 2019. The new standards now provide a ma minimum and maximum range for fortification of staple like wheat flour, maida, rice, salt, vegetable oil and milk. While the dose of micronutrient have been adjusted to provide 30 to 50 percent daily for daily requirement in milk and oil the doses the doses have been changed to micronutrients retinol equivalent to vitamin A and microgram for vitamin D for IU. Uh, in wheat flour and rice fortification other sources of iron have been added while vanaspati fortification have been excluded. So fortification is required and FSSI also speak about this. Next is iodine deficiency disorder. Iodine is a trace mineral required for optimal mental and development, physical development and is key constituent of thyroid hormone. It is required daily in very minute quantities that is 100 to 150 micrograms. For normal human growth and mental development, iodine deficiency uh, is the single largest cause of preventable brain damage globally. Iodine deficiency di uh, diseases includes goiter, cretinism, hypothyroidism, uh, uh, abortion, stillbirths, brain damage, learning disabilities, mental retardation and many such diseases. So uh, from this paragraph we get to know how iodine is important for our health and we will uh, speak more about it. Uh, it not only affects us physically but mentally also. Prevalence uh, Iodine deficiency disorder constitutes a significant public health globally problem globally. In India, the entire population is prone to IODDs due to deficiency of iodine in the soil of sub continental and thus both animals and plants uh, source food grains of iodine deficiency soil causes the causes of IDDs are indirectly attributed to low iodine uh, content in the soil and hence in consumed food inadequate utilization due to the presence of goitrogens in the food like cabbage cauliflower and millets so the uh, this deficiency is not only due to not consuming it but it is also due to the deficiency of uh, uh, iodine in the soil which uh, causes this all deficiencies in the human beings so to so it causes uh, it is the main cause of the uh, iodine deficiency disorders consequences severe uh, iodine deficiency is related with various adverse effect in uh, including goiter cretinism neonatal hypothyroidism growth retardation and uh, increased risk of pregnancy loss of infant mortality supplementation of iodine through salt in the form of iodized salt and diet and have cost effective in controlling and eliminating IDTs. So there are very adverse effects like uh, goiter and cretinism. You can see how uh, you all may be knowing or uh, if don't don't know then I will tell what is goiter. Goiter is very severe disease in which the uh, person's uh, neck region is swollen a lot and lo it looks very weird like so it's very dangerous and it is caused due to the uh, deficiency of iodine. So its supplementation is very required uh, in proper amount. Iodine Deficiency Disorder Control National Iodine Deficiency Disorder Control Program NID Deep CP Realization uh, Realizing the magnitude of problem, the Government of India launched a 100% centrally assisted national goiter control program in 1962. In August 1992, the national goiter program was renamed as National Iodine Deficiency Disorder Control Program with a view with wide spectrum of iodine deficiency disorder like mental and physical retardation, deaf mutism, cretinism, stillbirth, abortion, etc. Uh, so by uh, seeing the magnitude or uh, the depth of the uh, iodine deficiency disorder, uh, our government of India launched a scheme uh, uh, launched a scheme in which uh, we, they were focusing to control the iodine deficiency disorder. It was launched in August 1992.
it's very important date so you should note it uh, the goal is to, uh, the goal of the program is to first uh, the to bring the prevalence of IDDs to low uh, to below 5% in country to ensure 100% consumption of adequately iodized salt at uh, household level so these are all the um, goals by this uh, NIDPCCP program next is zinc deficiency uh, zinc is a mineral it is called as essential trace mineral because very small amount of zinc is necessary for human health since the body uh, does not uh, stores excess zinc it must be consumed regularly as a part of the diet zinc performs many functions as a part of every cell of the body so zinc is essential uh, zinc performs many factors uh, as a part of every cell and zinc is very essential for normal growth development reproduction immunity etc zinc is present in cells tissues organs secretion and 90 percent body zinc include uh, uh, 90 percent body zinc is in the muscles and bones so uh, we do not take uh, zinc as a major nutrient uh, uh, and it is not uh, we think that it is not very important but it is also very important for our body and uh, it is not required in uh, that amount like iodine and that uh, vitamin a but it is required in least amount and we should consume uh, it uh, regularly or uh, to reduce the zinc deficiency these are mainly uh, the 90 percent of the zincs are mainly found in the muscles and bones prevalence in india mild to moderate deficiency of zinc may be widely prevalent due to the cereal pulse based diet low in zinc and high in phytates that may cause zinc deficiency phytate or phytic acid is a naturally occurring compound found in all plants like beans grains nuts and seeds the chief concern about phytates is that they can bind to certain dietary minerals including iron zinc magnesium to lessen the extent of calcium and slow down their absorption so this talks about that uh, how the deficiency is causing so it is not only that people are not consuming it after being consuming it also but the, the uh, zinc deficiency is also uh, increasing so low zinc is due to the phytates contains uh, phytate is that um, uh, substance in uh, likes being grain nuts and seeds that reduce the action of the zinc in our diet and slow the uh, slow their absorption phytates in your daily uh, everyday meal uh, should not be an issue for you long as long as you are eating a balanced diet through all your age of population at high risk of zinc deficiency but infants and young children pregnant and lactating women are most vulnerable so it is not only that the people are uh, children are affected but all the uh, population like um, children young children pregnant and lactating mothers are also most vulnerable to it causes uh, causes a few causes of zinc deficiency are first inadequate dietary intake that is low zinc diet protein energy uh, deficiency and uh, vegetarianism protein uh, patient on low or protein restricted diet Second, malabsorption, uh, celiac diseases, pancreatic insufficiency, increased body loss, starvation, burns, caloric losses, excessive sweating, parasitic infection, sickle cell anemia. So these are all the uh, causes of zinc deficiency. Consequences. The consequences of zinc deficiency may be uh, following as listed below. Poor maternal zinc status uh, uh, has been associated with fatal loss, birth deformities in child, intrauterine growth retardation, low birth weight, growth retardation, prolonged labor and preterm of post-term deliveries. Second is immune dysfunction and infection. Third is skin lesions. Fourth, decreased wound healing. And fifth is sickle cell anemia. Sixth is neurological disease. Seventh is infertility and liver disease. So these are all the consequences. Uh, these are all the consequences of zinc deficiency. So to prevent it, we should take proper diet of that by including all the minerals like zinc. Zinc deficiency control. Home based based uh, method of preventing zinc deficiency are modifying eating habits and cooking practices. Adoption of cooking practices like fermentation from making idli, dhokla, etc. Soaking the germination of the pulses and grains reduce the phytate content. Likewise, a simple intervention such as taking a piece of guara or Indian gooseberry that is amla fruit also after uh, food or while taking iron tablet would double the availability of the iron or zinc in the body. So to prevent the deficiency of the iron, we should take prevent take uh, fermented food like idli, doka, dukla, and uh, you should use pulses which are uh, germinated. So from next video is do subscribe to our channel, join Telegram group, and like the video. Thanks for watching.